would just have Wales the strongest woman. I'm in my short shorts tan to the brim and you're burnt like a potato press. It is one of the hottest <laughs> days of the year so far, probably one of the hottest days on record. And um, we have absolutely battled through it, ploughed through it. And let me tell you, credit to all the athletes that have taken part today. It's been an absolute titanic display in very, very tough conditions, let me tell you. And um, first of all, we had event number one, the 200 kilo tower flip. We had it at Scotland. It was meaty. The girls found it really, really difficult. Yeah. But first of all, the winner of that event, 2444, the world's strongest woman, the UK's strongest woman, and she's going for the Wales' strongest woman title, Becca Roberts Martin. What an athlete. Becca Roberts, you're going to hear a lot about Becca Roberts during this, uh, during this today. <laughs> uh, what can you say about Rebecca Roberts? World class, fantastic, come out, needed. Do you know what though, with that comes pressure though. Let's not, she can't have it all her own way because she'd come out of there and, and someone had beaten her, she hadn't got quite the result. Do you know what? You know, that could set a really bad tone for the day. She needed to get out there, she needed to make a statement. Marcus, that's exactly what she done. And the second place in that event was 27-19. Was one of the oldest competitors, hopefully she doesn't mind me saying that, was Claire Myler. Um, 50 years old. 50 years yeah, old. Yeah, she won't mind us saying that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like to remind her, but yeah, she is 50. And a special shout out had to go out to Jade Presley in that event. One of the lightest competitors, Martin. Really made that after a bit quite easy. Gutsy, she's a terrier. She she gets stuck in. She's what we call a pocket rocket, you know. But but she also doesn't give up. Uh, and that was, you know, she set that out very very early. So yeah, good shout that one, Marcus. And the event number two was the Trish Porter dumbbell. Again, we like to kind of name events after certain athletes. Yeah. Uh, in particular, my dad like to pay a bit of um, respect. Yeah, Trish yeah. Porter. And but we'll have to say this dumbbell is it's pink. But it's very difficult, yeah. Martin. There's nothing, pretty, there's nothing pretty about it yeah, when you're lifting it, I'm nothing, sure, because it's, it's hard, Marcus, yeah. And in that event, Becca Roberts, 14 repetitions. That has to be a record, Martin. Yeah, it must be a record. Um, and do you know what? Everyone that went before her, it was, it was quite a grind, wasn't it? They were grinding out a few reps here and there. Rebecca Roberts comes out and, and just absolutely blitzes it. And the other girls won't mind me saying that because Rebecca Roberts absolutely deserves the credit she's getting on that, you know, because she's just fantastic. I don't know what more to say about her, you know, pressing power, she, you know, she can move. Yeah, she's got it on the We couldn't really ignore, though, Claire Meyer. Claire Meyer was out in that event with Becca Roberts. She'd done four repetitions, yeah. which uh, was absolutely on the yeah, yeah, there's only was. four girls out of the eight line up actually pressed on it and it showed how awkward that was. Yeah, it was it was difficult, it was tough and uh, you know what can I say? Your dad don't make things easy, that's for sure. So and he hasn't made this dumbbell easy. As, as we said it pays respects, you know, and, and it is very difficult, you know, but listen, fair play to Claire. She went out and pressed it. And a special side I had to go out to Amwin uh, Jenkins. Um, yeah. The girl that we haven't heard much about, Martin, I, I believe she trains with Hugh and Thomas, who was the yep. UK's strongest man athlete. She'll be back next year with a vengeance. She certainly will. Event number three was the truck pull. Harness and rope, power, power, power all the way. Yep. We were strapped into this harness and had to pull this eight and a half ton truck pull up a 20 metre course. A lot of these girls, as in Scotland's strongest woman, hadn't pulled a truck before, Martin. Yep. And you could see the same kind of mistakes were coming out in terms of footwear. Some girls still thinking it's some sort of fashion show with <laughs> some bands, some converse. I mean, that's a strong one. It's strong woman. They learn very quickly. They're learning on the job. Do you know what? It did surprise me in Scotland that we had a few that had never done, or quite a few, that had not done a truck ball before. But do you know what? This is an emerging sport, Marcus, so they are going to learn on the job. And do you know what? They're turning out. They've never pulled a truck before. You've got 1,500 thirsty, hungry fans who are, who are there for entertainment and they're coming out and providing a show for them. Fair play to every one of them, mate. They all deserve every bit of credit they get today. And the winner in that event was Becca Roberts, making it three out of three with a truck pull, 31.5. I mean, can you see the pattern developing here? Uh, <laughs> Rebecca Roberts, yeah, I mean, Marcus, what can you say about Rebecca Roberts? Obviously, you know, she, she can pull a truck. She knows how to pull a truck. Uh, she's done it before. She's one of the more experienced athletes in that. And you know what? She she went out there and absolutely blitzed it. And but let, let's let's not just because she's good at truck pulling doesn't mean to say she's going to come here and win it win every event. She has to put the effort in. She has to come here and do what she does. And and in this heat, this could have been one of those days that it, she could have been slipping up. You know, she could have made these slip up. She could have given up. She could have maybe underestimated the opposition who did sit with her on a lot of events. You know, they they were there. You know, so. 
Yeah. She, was, she is the world's strongest woman. We've got to take that into account. <laughs> yeah. She did say, mention a bit of a training session. That, that's what she was kind of hinting at here. But she was very respectful with it. And, that, and re respectful. you know what? You'll get nothing but that's respect. She's probably one of the nicest girls that you'll probably Absolutely see. right, yeah. Really. Um, a special shout out goes to Mel Smith, a girl that we haven't mentioned before and I've not heard of, but she certainly made a name for herself in that truckle. Oh. She certainly did, yeah. Event number four was the sandbag shoulder. 85 kilos have to be shouldered to, uh, to, to the shoulder. Yeah. And the girls had to get their big guns. And certainly the Welsh women definitely have bigger biceps than them. <laughs> yeah, they, they certainly did. A lot of people ask why we why we do this shut why we do the, the bicep pose. It's not for vanity. It's to show it's under control at the top, and it, it's at, we need a pause at the top for the referee. That allows the pause and allows the rep to be given. And you know what? It works. It does work. It does work. Um, and the two winners. There's two winners in that event. <laughs> Becca Roberts, no surprise there, but Claire Meyer pushed her all the way. She finished. Um, that implement five repetitions, both girls five repetitions yeah. in that event. 75 seconds, that was quick. Do you know what that, that was? That was the scene. Now this is actually what I go back to. I said a minute ago. She didn't have it all her own way. She got pushed. You know, could Rebecca Roberts have done more? Possibly. But you know, but you know what? Claire Myler was there. She can only she can only deal with what she's dealing with, and she lifted it five times. Fantastic. And a girl that's Fair actually way. come, the dad mentioned at the end of the show, actually come from bodybuilding. So to take that transition, and you know it very well. Yeah. You're one of your best friends, or your best friend, Terry Hollands. I mean. That transition, he went from strongman to bodybuilding, and it's yeah. the opposite way around, which is quite an interesting aspect of yeah. the sport as well. Yeah. Um, so, credit to her for doing Totally it different way to train, totally different way to eat, totally different discipline. Both, I'm absolutely amazed at both of the sports, they're fantastic sports, but you know what? To be able to make the transition from one to the other, I'll take my hat off, honestly, because I've seen, I've seen it first hand, and it's tough, Mark, just let me tell you. And the final event for the title, Real Strongest Woman, was the stones of strength. 130 kilos was the last stone which had to be lifted. Yeah. We only have one girl. Um, Can you guess who it is? Real Strongest Woman. Yeah. Uh, the winner of that event, the only girl only finished four. Yeah. We thought Becca Roberts would finish this um, stone run. And I'm sure she's yeah. got it because I've seen her put it on. We've yeah. seen her a couple of times now put on that 130 kilo stone. Could have been the dude with the tacky, she, only she knows. Tacky could have been run off her hand. I was watching it. I was watching it. I, I was obviously on the commentary on the live comms. And it was, the hands were slipping. They're underneath it. They're slipping off. I don't think it had anything to do with strength at all today. I don't think there was, no, there was no question that on another day, not so hot, it was a tacky malfunction. It was not an athlete malfunction or lack of strength. I'll tell you that for sure. You know, I was watching it. Well, she done such a fast four in 25.72. We were expecting that big one to go up. Yeah. But a girl that we haven't mentioned yet, who actually come third in that event with three stones in 25.65, Sam the Terror Taylor. She's yeah. been the UK's strongest woman. She's been multiple um, an athlete with ultimate strong. Man yeah, man. yeah. And they call her the Terror Taylor because she is, she is a terror. And she she, she is a terror, and I'll tell you something else as well. She's an absolute fantastic ambassador for this sport. She's doing lots and lots of good work out there as well. So Sam, to get a mention, keep doing what you're doing, Sam, because I love what you do. And uh, she gave me a pot of hot sauce before the show today, uh, which I was really pleased about. Um, she's got her own brand of hot sauce now. What more can you say? Does it get any better than that? <laughs> and we'll just go through the top three then, Martin. On 28 and a half points, Sam the Terror Taylor, hopefully she gives you more hot sauce in. More hot That's sauce, us. please, <laughs> and uh, more placings like that, because she absolutely deserves it. One million percent, one of the nicest people you can meet in the world. And in second place, Claire Myler of, uh, of Wales as well. She done absolutely excellent, 35.5. Doing it for us, well, <laughs> I'm 48 now, so she's like, I keep saying it, please dad's, don't you. Dad's 50 now. Yeah, your dad's 50, so, they, so look, doing it for us older ones, yeah. you know what I mean, and proving you know, do you know what? When I have that day, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, when I'm feeling a bit lazy and I can't get off, you know, me whatever to get to the gym. <laughs> do you know what? I'm gonna think of her. I'm gonna think of Claire Milo. I'm gonna think. You know what? She's smashing it at 50. I'm 48. Go and do it. And everyone should think like that. You know, so, can, I, can I hold of ultimate strong man? Because mm. the ultimate strong woman is, is it's growing. It's growing yeah. rapidly. You can see this year we've, we've two, 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 two TV productions this year. 
um, an hour TV for Wales and Strongest Woman. So it's getting bigger. Be part of it. So go on to www.ultimate strongman TV and click us on Facebook and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, um, definitely and subscribe. And definitely subscribe. <laughs> uh, and the winner, I mean, she's yeah, just going. Title after title. You can see what title. I was saying here, can't yeah. you? There's a slight pattern that yeah. develops here. <laughs> Tell them, Marcus, come on. And the winner with 39.5 points is Becca Roberts. Becca Roberts is Wales' strongest woman. Do you know what? I'd like to say at this point, where can she go? You know, but she's gone. She's the world's strongest woman. She's Wales' strongest woman. If you put any competition in front of her, do you know what? I don't see a chink in her armour anywhere. I don't see a chink in her armour. Do I see anyone beating her anytime soon? No. Honest truth, no. And do you know what? It couldn't happen to a nicer person. Rebecca Roberts is, is beautiful inside and out. And that is what I like about her. She is fantastic for this sport and long may it continue. Well, she's going on the UK Strongest Woman with Claire Myler to see if she can retain her title. And we'll see you then. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below. And let's see some great comments of what you'd like to see. And if you want to go to an Ultimate Strongman show, get your tickets, ultimatestrongman.tv, and we'll see you there.